If you want to secure your edge router ER4 with a valid SSL certificate attached to a domain, then watch this video. So the reason I want to secure my edge router 4 is mainly because of this annoying security thing up here um, where it shows you that the ubiquity certificate is not valid. The reason it's not valid because it's not attached to a domain. So there's no way ubiquity can know what domain you want to put this on. So they're not doing anything wrong and they've, they're not at fault here. It's just that the SSL certificate needs to be associated with the domain. So what I've done, and you have to do this first, is I've got a domain, thephobicflyer.com. And I've set up on my DNS, on my ISP, I've set up router.thephobicflyer.com for the purposes of this demonstration, which I'm going to delete when I've recorded this. What I then added is the external IP address of my router to that domain. Now, I'm actually double natting because I'm a router behind a router as well, so I won't worry too much about that. Double natting, not good. But anyway, basically, you have to get a domain on the internet or a subdomain that points to the external IP address of your router. It doesn't expose the IP address of your router. So it's 100% config driven, this, this script. It doesn't require modification to the Edge OS system files. And it doesn't ever expose the admin GUI to the internet either. So it's pretty cool, pretty secure. Thanks to Jesse Miller on GitHub, who's written this script. And it really is a case of just cutting and pasting. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to the script down below in the description. So let's log in to our Ubiquity router. So there we go. I know it's admin. And I'm going to reset the router at the end of this, because uh, just in case for security purposes. So there's the router. First thing to do is to add cut and paste this script, which again, uh, what I'll do is I will put the link, as I say, to this page. So all you've got to do is exactly the same. That's the first script. You've got to curl and get that um, that script from Jess's GitHub site, and it will then do its magic. Okay, first thing done. Next thing to do is to cut and paste the script, the next bit of the script. And I'm going to add my domain at the end. So when it gets the Let's Encrypt certificate, it uh, associates it with my subdomain, which is router.thephobicflyer.com. Can I type? Yes, I can. Here we go. So we just watch what our script's doing. Verify finished, it's added that uh, certificate. And as I say, I'm not worried about you seeing this because I'm going to delete it anyway uh, before I publish this video. So that's the first thing to do. So what you then need to do, you've got to go to configure. Next thing to do is to add a static route to your router to point to, in my case, router dot thephobicflyer.com and what that will do then is allow you to get to that domain internally from the router. So that's done. Then you've got to add the certificates that we just pulled from Let's Encrypt. Same there. You can set up a script in cron to automatically renew the certificates during the validity period, which is quite handy. Then you don't have to worry about it. And all you got to do is grab that. And then if you commit, save and exit, 
all in one go. You can't do it correctly though. Happy days. So if we now go to router, look at that. Oh. No, we don't want clarkers. We want admin. Make sure I get the password right. There you go. And I would save that so that if I go into that address again, if you look at the certificate, it's nice and secure. There you go. It's issued by R3. Router.thephobicflyer.com expires in three months' time and it will auto renew. What I'm doing now is just uh, logging onto the internet. Logging onto the internet? Who logs onto the internet? Basically, I'm just setting up a personal hotspot on my phone. So if we open up the web browser, now I've got an external IP address. So if I go to what's my IP, it's an IPv6 IP address from EE, who's my mobile provider. If we just go to router, there you go. It's not, um, it's not allowing the connection. So it's getting blocked. That's it. Thanks for watching.